And we're live. Thank you so much for joining us on another, another edition of uh, Let's Football Live. A bit late today, uh, later than uh, what we are used to so far. 5 p.m. is usually when we come online, but we've got somebody joining us all the way from Brazil today. So we thought we'd go a bit later so that we allow him the time to uh, wake up and get ready for this. Any guesses? Hello, everyone. DPM Styles adds 1988. Tamiz Empire. Hello, man. How are you? Arunav. Don't call me, sir. Hello to you, too. Yeah, plenty of uh, yellow hearts. I've got a bit of yellow on my desk as well today. We'll just get to that in a second. I'll just let you guys uh, tune into this. Hello, Opera. Kingslayer. Hello. Rahul, hello. Right, we got about 300 on this. So uh, should we get cracking or you, you guys want to have a guess? Ilano? No, it's not Ilano Ritz. It's not Ilano. Hi, Rahiz. Phenomenal thug. Love your name, man. All right, guys, since we're talking about Let's Football Live in another edition, remember, if you guys joined us last time, I told you how we've got uh, players and uh, coaches, former coaches from Kerala, from Chennai, from Bengaluru, from Mumbai City FC, uh, from FC Goa, from ATK, uh, we got Farooq Chaudhary from Jamshedpur FC. We also got uh, Vinit Rai, finally, from uh, Odisha FC. Now we're going to switch our attention uh, to a club we know as Hyderabad FC. So the guy I'm going to be talking about is uh, a very, very famous foreigner in the history of the Hero Indian Super League. He's uh, a former Golden Boot winner. He's uh, somebody who is the highest assist provider in the history of the league. He's got more goals from outside the box than any other player in, the, in ISL history. And he's got more goals from direct free kicks than any other player as well. He's the third uh, in the all-time goal scorers list. If you guys want to have a guess now before I get him on, you can indeed. That's right, Rahul. You got it right. Boy of dreams, you guessed it right as well. It's Marcelino. So let me see if Marcelino is online and we get him on. He is. You guys can hear me okay? Marcelino joining us all the way from uh, Brazil. Marci, how are you doing, sir? Hello, Anand. How are you? Very nice to talk uh, with you. Listen, with your energy, I can make out that it's nice and early in your day. It's, it's just about sunset. It's just about sunset where I am right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here, yeah, just starting the day. And uh, it will be nice to talk with you in front of the, the fans and everybody. Look, we've, we've waited for that smile for a while, Marcy. Thank you so much for, for being a part of this. I was actually going through a lot of my old pictures, Marcy. And uh, I remember the 2016 season of the Hero Indian Super League when you were with Delhi Dynamos. And I remember there was a goal that you scored and you went to the corner flag and you celebrated like that. And yeah. now time has flown by so quickly that Enrico is almost three years old. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The time is going very fast. But uh, I enjoy, I enjoy. I try to enjoy every game. I try to enjoy every moment. But uh, you, you have reason. The time is going very, very fast, bro. Well, I, I hope your family is well. I hope your daughter, your wife and, and your son, Enrico, uh, everybody is okay uh, back in Brazil. Everybody's safe. They are a little bit boring because uh, they are not going to school. So <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to play with them. I try to enjoy this moment with them also. But uh, yeah. they understand the, the situation and uh, everybody needs to protect our family, need to be, stay safe. But uh, yeah. it's a very difficult moment for everybody, I think. It is indeed. It is uh, unprecedented in, uh, in so many ways. But uh, since you spoke about, you know, uh, the, the kids are not going to school. Anish Malik had a question, which I'll take nice and early. What is your daily routine like these days? Because you're still looking the same as you were in the middle of the season. So my daily routine, I wake up, I try to make a good breakfast with my family. My, my yeah. wife is going to work. She needs to work. And... Uh, I try to make some, some training at morning, something, some exercise. And uh, I, go to, I go down to my, my building here, have one place to, to go with my kids. And after yeah. the lunch, they sleep a little bit. And every day is the same. We do the same thing every single day. 
to Listen, if you if you're making breakfast i'm sure your wife is happy yeah of course of course we enjoy everybody enjoy the, the moment with the family everybody together but we uh, look for a comeback for the school for the work we need a normal life that's true that's that's what we're all hoping for but i i you know i've often wondered and you know you're somebody who's played his football in so many different places in spain and italy uh, in greece i remember there was a tattoo that you had uh, in greek as well uh, which we spoke about a long time ago when we'd met uh you played of course in brazil as well in the uae but how did india happen how did the isl happen because there was a question from abdul sheik who said have did you hear about india before your isl debut yeah because uh the first time i think vico he went to the india and everybody in brazil knew about about india football because he did the preparation there in brazil so yeah. every, every, everybody was turned about uh india and uh was something new and uh, in the next year i had the invitation to go to to join the super league and all the players were talking very nice about the league the organization and i did not think twice to go to this experience yeah and i'm aren't we glad that you came because you didn't just come in the very first season you picked up the you know the golden boot award as well that was yes, some yeah. delhi team by the way marsi that 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 delhi team I, oh there you go <laughs> nice one <laughs> I, I wish you could pick it up and show it to us nice and close if you can. I don't know if it'll be possible for you. Of course. Ah, oh, love it. Is he here with me? Sorry about that, but I had to see it up close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I remember I remember you posting a picture on your Instagram with your wife and I think it was Prashant Agarwal who was standing next yeah. to you with with the with the golden boots so you were just telling us about how Delhi worked out for you and how did you say yes to joining uh, uh, the the Hero Indian Super League Masi I had one call from Prashant to join the Delhi Dynamos and uh yeah. everything was normal quite normal he told me about the organization of one new team he would you like to 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 me to join to the team to help to the team but i think he did not expect me to be in golden boot to be a, a <laughs> first player of the team i think he think he, i was a normal player maybe but 10 goals and 5 assists is not a normal player in in the first season that he no, plays in the in the isl <laughs> a little bit but that was that was great but Yeah yeah I remember and and I wanted to ask you specifically because you were you were not just a player you were playing under somebody like Gianluca uh, Zambrotta what was that relationship like uh, tell us a bit about him Work with Gianluca is like I think uh, when we go to university because uh, he know a lot of thing of football tactical level he's very clever intelligent yeah. he he was player before 5 uh, years I I think before to be coach so yeah. we uh he learned the opposite very very well the tactical the mentality and the uh, in the young guy so I think everything was fresh and everything was ready he is very 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 intelligent coach one of the best coach I have worked Yeah and it showed in the results as well because that Delhi team Masi we you know a lot of people who started watching ISL more recently look at FC Goa and they say you know great attacking football they they play with a lot of uh, you know play play a lot of attractive football but that Delhi team of 2016 when when you guys scored 27 goals in 14 games which was by far and above better than anybody else uh, yeah, yeah. was was something as what, what was the experience of sharing a dressing room with uh, you know some of those Delhi teammates of yours I think we had also Maluda very intelligent yeah. player we had a very very good group where everybody connected and the uh, offensive team offensive game for me is more attractive than anything and uh like Goa I think we play quite similar with Goa and uh we should continue with Delhi but the team change everything for the another season yeah. but okay is what very enjoyable moment yeah that's that's the thing right the change is the only uh, constant and and then of course you came to to pune but i just wanted to ask you about maluda about sharing a dressing room with a with a champion player like that uh, what was he like in the dressing room and on the pitch i was uh, i remember when i was at memo and he say hey maluda i play with you in the video game and you are here with me how's possible 
But uh, Maluda is very, very humble guy. He don't speak yeah. a lot. So I, I don't know. It's very crazy because before four years, you see him in World Cup and uh, he shared the, the room, the dress room. So very nice, very intelligent to play with him, the, the pitch. He know your move. He know where I'm going in space even with good ball, with good quality. I think something I'm never going to forget this guy. He's a very, very good guy. Is there something that you remember from Maluda, him telling you something? I remember there was one game that you guys played. I think Delhi was playing away to uh, Goa, which you rated as one of your best games. I think you got a goal and an assist in that as well. And yeah. that's when Delhi started winning in that season and then came back and then went all the way to the semifinals. Was yeah, there anything he, that Maluda said like a leader, which, which you remember? He's like a leader, like a captain. I remember this game because one game before we lost for the Calcutta for ATK. And after we yeah. won Goa, and we we won all the match. And uh, Maluda was like a leader for us. Very very good guy. Very humble. Don't don't make pressure in any player. He tried to support. And uh, together with Zambrata, we had two leaders in the team. So we are very yeah. comfortable with this. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a rumor out of the way first of all. Now because after you left Delhi, now you're a Golden Boot winner. You have reached the semi-finals with Delhi. Uh, you played with Maluda under Zambrata. Were there offers from uh, from other clubs? Were Kerala interested in signing you before you you went to FC Pune City? Because there was a lot of talk about Marcelinho going here, Marcelinho going there. After that, I came to to Brazil. I have one interest for from one big club here in Brazil, and I okay. I came to join Avai. And uh, after after I had many calls from uh, from India and Australia, and uh, from. Kerala, they did not make any official offer, only only some calls, something like that. And I uh, had some pressure to go to Pune, and uh, they called me every, every single moment, calling, calling. And uh, I made the choice to go to, to Pune. And what was that season like with uh, Pune? Because again, you made it to the semis. This time, the coach was Ranko, but you were playing alongside Alfaro, and you know everyone was looking at uh, that partnership as you know some something that will be really fruitful in the ISL. Yeah, I think we had very good team to be champion. I think it was uh, I think I, we play against Bengaluru in the semi final, and they were yeah. better. But we had a team to be champion there with Ranko, right? Very good coach, also very good partnership with uh, Alfaro. We had Marco Teba, Diego, also. I think we we had amazing team also. And uh, you know, once again, you were you were scoring goals and you were providing assists. And you know, you, your form at no point in time dipped, even though FC Pune City's next season was difficult. But what do you think changed between that uh, you know that season 2017-18, the season four of ISL, to season five when Pune had a had a dip in fortunes? I think uh, my point of view changed a lot of players in the squad. We had many many changes. We did not, we did not adapt the system. Of the because we had one way style of play with Ranko and uh, Miguel yeah. changed everything. We did not adapt well, and uh, when we woke up, it was a little bit late. So we try only to play for pride, for do something nice in the the league. And that happened. The football then, then... sometimes, sometimes the thing is not going well. The, that happened. Uh, like in the life, we we need to make our best always. Yeah, now now of course you you play in a, in a slightly different shade of yellow for uh, for Hyderabad FC in in season six, which is 2019-20. Uh, and there were so many questions about that because uh, Rudra Singh said, "I think you're one of the best players in ISL, and I think you deserve more from the team." What are your thoughts on Hyderabad FC? And Abdul Sheikh had a question saying, "How was the atmosphere at Hyder in Hyderabad last year? And what positive changes are you expecting to see in that team?" Should we should we talk about Hyderabad FC first before the atmosphere? Uh, we have many questions about Hyderabad because uh, we're a new team, new franchise. I think new new things take time. So I think the, we we need a better preparation the pre season. You know, uh, I think we change everything. You need need to be perfect. The change, you know, the ch the change came a little bit late. We, we had many injuries in the first three, four games. We had many injuries, so we cannot win. 
I think uh, also our pitch, our stadium had no quality in the first three, four games. I think normal, quite similar with Jam Jamshedpur. Remember the first three, four games, the, the pitch was not so good, but when they, yeah. they start to fix, they try to, to make a project for the future, we understand that the things are uh, going to change. But uh, we gave our maximum with the, the, with the, with the situation. And a little bit of luck also. We were very unlucky, some games, uh, with some mistakes from the young player. But uh, we know that that's the football. We try to make our best. We had a very good team, very good family inside the rest room. And uh, I think we have many positive things there. I think in, our fans were amazing. The city is very yeah. good. Uh, I'm, not, I'm sure I did about for the future will be better than the first season. They will, they will prepare better. It was, it was a difficult season, of course. Uh, just, just two wins and obviously they were separated by, you know, a, a big time period as well. But what is your fondest memory? What was your biggest takeaway, Masi, from, from that season uh, with Hyderabad? With Hyderabad, the, the, the best moment, you mean? Yeah, whichever, whichever you think was your, yeah, the best moment for you. I think uh, my my goal with fall. I think on moment to to remember my my fall against Kerala was very nice. I think the last game yeah. also we did very well. We showed that we want to change, that we deserve yeah. bad, better things. So we have many positive things, and I think the fans they understand this. So that's very good. They support the people are very supportive, and the, I think the management we make some good change for the the next season. You spoke of Kerala and you spoke of playing in Kerala as well. What's with the Kerala fans showing you so much love all the time? You've never kicked a ball for Kerala Blasters well yet. I think because in Kerala they have the passion for the football like Brazil. You know, they are very emotional. And uh, it's, it's very interesting yeah. how they support the football, how they show the love for the football. is something different if you compare with another team. And I think the yellow also. The Brazilian color, I think everything, a lot of similar things. And uh, I try to yeah. be responsive with them because they send me many messages and I, I try to respond, I try to be nice. I don't like to yeah. ignore or avoid messages from the fans. So I think it's a relationship. So let's see. So I'm going to ask you the difficult way. By the way, I'm holding a yellow mug as well. Uh, I don't know why, okay. but I just decided that I'm going to wear one. Uh, I, I wanted to know, if, if an offer comes from Kerala Blasters, would you be ready to consider it? Of course, of course. Everything is open. I think now we need to wait the, this moment of COVID, coronavirus, what's going to happen with the country, when we're yeah. going to start a championship. And uh, I'm, open. I'm very open for, for the offers. And uh, if one day, I always say that, if one day I have the opportunity to play there, I'm going to consider it because I think it would be very nice. The, the best stadium, the best atmosphere, environment in the league is, uh, is there. Every, all the players, they say this. I remember watching one of your interviews a uh, couple of seasons ago where you compared the Kochi atmosphere to the Maracana in, uh, in Brazil. And I remember you saying it. Uh, but what's it like? Is it, it, does, it intimidate? Uh, does it intimidate players who come there as, you know, as, as a traveling team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I feel very comfortable with that pitch because it's perfect. The stadium, the pitch, the fans, in a situation that you, you get uh, some pressure, you know, that self-pressure make you feel better. You feel the, yeah. the competition during the game against Kerala, like something different in the league. It's very nice. Certainly, it's, it's a great uh, pleasure presenting shows from there as well. Uh, a pit side, the, the atmosphere is something else. Now, we've spoken about how, how well you know the, the fans and you know, your, your previous teams. Let's see if you know some of your, uh, your teammates as well. I'm going to play a round with you, which I called uh, Tiki Taka. And basically, I'm going to give you some clues and let's see if you can guess the player or the team that I'm going to be giving you in this case. Okay? Ready? Okay. Okay. So, your first clue is... Uh, you broke my record of the most assists in Hero ISL history. Good question. Marco? Nope. So you broke this guy's record of the most assists in ISL history. 
he had 13 assists in isl history and you've no broken idea. his record do you know who do you know who i'm talking about? okay i'll give you a second clue i won the hero of the league award in the 2016 season the season you no won idea. the golden boot he won the, he won the hero maluda. yeah that's maluda that's right <laughs> maluda. fantastic okay so I, i'm allowed to give you a couple of clues so if you don't get it right in the first one i'm going to give you more so the second player that i'm looking for i'll give you the first clue for him I became the first Hyderabad player to score in four successive games. Me? <laughs> it's not you. It's not you. <laughs> well, for a change, it's not you with a record like that. But uh, can you guess? Bobo. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Bobo it is. Bobo. What was it? What was it like sharing a dressing room with uh, Bobo? Of course, the same country in, a, in the same language as well. Did that help? Very nice. Bobo is a Brazilian guy. He played very, in big teams in Brazil, also in Turkey. I think he shared many experience with, with me. And uh, yeah. like a brother, we share, like we make partner with Marco also, with the Kila, Jai. I think we very enjoyable. Stay with him, very experienced, very intelligent guy. I enjoy a lot to stay with him. And he lives here. Same, he lives here in the same city than me, but I cannot go because we are in quarantine. Wow, I hope he's listening to this then uh, because uh, you know, he, was, he was some player. I remember a couple of his headers that he scored in uh, this season of the ISL. I mean, some ability to score like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, your third thing. So I've asked you about two players. I'm going to ask you about a team now. Okay. Uh, the first clue that I'm going to give you for this team is uh, you have never scored or provided an assist against this team. I never score. You've never scored against this team in the ISL and you've never provided an assist. You've provided an assist or I scored know. a goal I against know. every. I know, I know, I know. Bengaluru. Bengaluru it is. Bengaluru it is. Well done, well done. So you got you got all three right. <laughs> I I always try to score in Bengaluru. I spoke to Gurpur inside the game and I say, come on man, I never score on you. <laughs> he say, no, no, I have lucky, I have lucky. You know, we make some jokes, but uh, I never yeah. score in Bengaluru and I always try. And I know, and I, I, I keep seeing, uh, you know, on social media as well, there, there's a lot of war of words that happens between players and fans as well. How do you respond to some of the criticism that you that you get? I know a lot of Bengaluru fans get involved sometimes, and you know they they like to give stick to players as well. But how, as a player of, of, of you know somebody who spent four seasons in the ISL, how do you respond to some of that criticism, Masi? I try to not be responsive, be critical, but uh, sometimes I'm very emotional, yeah. and I try to show my opinion. I try to show that I am a a, a human. I make mistake also. And uh, I'm trying to improve. I'm, I need to many things. I need to improve. And uh, but I, I understand the passion of the fans, and that's quite normal in the football. They try to to be support his team and uh, to be more yeah. offensive with another team. That the passion of the game. I really understand that we need to separate the game of the normal life. Sometimes the people don't know that we are playing and normal. Person and I need to be ready for everything. So that's one thing yeah. that I need to improve. Uh, that's very humble of you. Okay, now since you've spoken about uh, some fans over there, there are so many fan questions that have that have come in. So I'm going to play a round called One Touch Let's Football, which is basically you try to answer in one word or one sentence. And these are all the fan questions that that uh, that have come in. So Mayur Halankar asks, at what age did you start training? Age. The age yeah. start six. Okay, so what? Double the age of Enrico right now. Your your son. Roughly. Exactly. Okay. If Second want, question I, is if, from if, lunatic. If you want, if you want, in the end of the interview, I can call him to say hello for you. He, he here. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Please, please. That would be that would be great. Why not? Okay. Say say hello to some okay. of the fans who who joined us on this. Okay. The second question okay. from lunatic uh, Broy. Uh, your favorite youngster in the ISL. The the young player, yeah. I think it's Ashik. 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 
Asha Karunian. Okay. For me, from big talent, I think he, he were very unlucky. I think the coach from Begalur put him in the uh, the back, he's not his position. I think he can be betting as an offensive player. And I think uh, there's some mistakes this, this scene, but he he has a lot of talent. He will be he will give a lot for the Indian football, but he cannot have pressure on him. He need to be, we need to support him. Yeah, I remember Elko Shitori joined us on Let's Football Live, and he was saying the same thing. He watched Ashik play in the Asian Cup uh, as an out and out. Um, I think as a false nine or as, a, as the most forward player for India and. He was uh, he was something else. So yeah, a lot of people have praised Ashik. Great choice. Ashik, I, okay. I love we'll come to the as a person and as a player also. All right. Okay. The next question from Anubra Nath, and he asks, uh, "How do you hit those free kicks with full accuracy and max power together?" Difficult question. I don't know. I think uh, I train from long time. For a long time, you need to repetition, 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 and you find the, the right, the right move. Yeah. I think uh, the the feet here, the finger, you need to kick with the end of the of your foot. You know, I think you need to you need to find one balance in between the power and the the right movement. You need repetition. You need to train like everything in the life. You need to concentration in what you are doing. I remember I had come to Goa for one of your pre-season uh, trainings and you gave me a master class in how to take a free kick. I'm still as bad, but that doesn't matter because hopefully these guys will learn from it. I remember, I remember you have been Goa. We have a picture together also, a very nice interview there. Yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, okay, next question from Her M. Pero, who asks, who is the sports icon that has influenced you the most? Uh... One player that I love a lot is uh, Ibrahimovic. I love Zlatan. him. Okay. I like him because he has personality. He he has he's a leader for the team. He's not afraid of what his talk and, and his action inside the game. I love to watch yeah. him. I'm Brazilian, but I I love to watch Ibrahimovic as a player. Do you have like a favorite goal of his that you remember or uh, anything that in particular that you've loved about him the most? From Ibrahimovic, yeah, one uh, with bike. You you remember against the, England? The against National, England, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget the logo. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, okay, Rahul un, Rahul dot one nine asks, what is that one thing you liked about Hyderabad the most? One thing that I like most, Hyderabad, yeah. the 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 fans. I think they they came. They are very supportive. They came to yeah. enjoy the game, and uh, until the last minute, they they support, they they loud. They are very very nice fans. I think the people are, are very happy people there. I think the the people in the Rabad are the best. All right, and uh, Shijim had a question: Which is your favorite stadium away from home, or your favorite fans away from home? I think you've already answered that, so we <laughs> we skip that. Yeah, Kerala Blasters. I can answer that for you. <laughs> Question. The yellow hearts come on, on cue. Aja Darsh 10 had a question. Um, who's the fastest player in, in, in the squad, in your current Hyderabad FC squad? My faster, fastest goal? My fastest score? Fastest, no, fastest player. The fastest, fastest uh, player. Uh, yeah. Ashish. Ashish Rai? Ashish. Ashish. Yeah, but... There have been there were a few youngsters in there, right? I mean, there was uh, there's Abhishek Halder who's who's very young. There's Ashish Rai. Uh, Ashish. There was uh, Nikhil Pujari. There's Rohit who's still Nikhil very Pujari. young. Liston Kulaso joined later. What was it like, you know, sharing a dressing room with some of these youngsters? Would they come to you for advice? I think uh, they they try to take some. I think we had a very bad season, and uh, I I like their reaction. They try to improve something. They try to learn. We try to give some. Ideas and they are very good guys. They they try to. I think the bad moments the human improve. So I think in this season they were very nice because they gave the best during the training, during the the games. And I think it's something nice. They are very good guys. Yeah. Nice, and I'm sure they had plenty to uh, learn from you on the pitch as well. And other Ajadash had another question. 
who cracks a joke when there is something serious being discussed in the dressing room i don't know i don't know who's the funniest guy in that dressing room let's put it that way yeah we have a uh, agil khan agil khan agil khan agil khan? Right? khan is a funny guy he always try to make joke with everybody yeah and uh, yeah. i forgot our defense i can't i can't I, 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 I make that sorry i'm i'm going to shoot agil khan agil khan is a funny guy okay. he's always happy always try to make joke also is very serious also but i think uh, agil khan but he's married now so he 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 better be he better get serious in life yeah <laughs> okay um another one inefficient dot joker says who has the best skills in the isl according to you the best best skills who do you think is the most skillful footballer in the isl unfortunately uh, you can't name yourself no 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 I think uh Miku maybe Miku Miku overall I think Miku I think Miku I think one guy that I pick was Miku I think uh, before two season he was very very good player he he did something yeah. this performance something adorable to watch Who's who do you think has been the best? I mean, there have been some really good strikers in in the ISL. Koro, of course, is you know the highest goal scorer. There's Obeche, who's played for Northeast Kerala. You know, you're the top scorer for two different clubs. Uh, so many Chetri. Who do you think has been the best striker to 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 watch in the ISL so far for you? It's very unfair to choose one player on my point of view because he had many talented players. I think Koro yeah. had one team behind him to do everything. He only finished. I think uh, Ogi Bash is a very strong guy. He can receive the ball. He can protect. He, he can uh, score. We had Miku, yeah. like as I told, Hassan Shetri, Hassan Shetri as an India for me is the best. I had many players. I, I I'm not gonna pick one. It's very okay. unfair with me. But if if you were to if you were to choose a striking partner, if you were to choose a striker as a partner, who who would that be in the ISL? Maybe Ogi Bash. Maybe Ogi Bash. Ogi Bash. He can yeah. make the the job easy for me. I think. Yeah, he's a great leader as well, isn't he, Obeche? Uh, yeah. Right, Shazin K dot K had a question. What was your most memorable moment in the in the Hero ISL? Unfair question, also. Very oh, okay. Unfair. I think yeah. uh, when we spoke before uh, the the win against Goa. Away from the, home. Away. Yeah, because they change everything in the championship. I think we start to win all the match, and uh, I came yeah. from the bench. I think I came from the bench and I uh, scored and ten minutes to to left the game and uh, something very nice. I enjoy a lot this moment and uh, we start to win all the game, reach the semi final, and then I change all my life there. Yeah, you you got a great record against Goa. I think you scored what seven goals, got three assists in eight games or something like that. You 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 do yeah. love Goa, don't you? <laughs> yeah, lucky, lucky. That's a good thing. Okay, now uh, Asif has a question. Who is the toughest defender you've ever faced in your whole career? But I'd like to know from an ISL point of view, who's the toughest defender that you've ever faced? I think I'm gonna pick Jinga, Sander Jinga. I think uh, yeah, very competitive, very difficult, very hard to to. I never give my back to him, so I try to to create some space. to him yeah. uh, i think between between goyan also is very difficult to play against goyan and uh okay. i'm between goyan tiri jingam i'm going to pick jingam because the competition level of him from the first minute until the end the last minute he's very very strong guy yeah he's uh, obviously he's he's now kerala blasters and sandeep jingan have uh, parted ways as well Uh, yeah. What do you think should be the next step for somebody like Jing? And he's still quite young. I mean, he's 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 one of the best Indian defenders. He's one of the best defenders in the in the ISL. Do you think he should look for options outside? Do you think he should look for other clubs in the ISL? I think uh, he's one player, very talented. He's very good player. He had uh, he had the possibility to play abroad if he wants. I think yeah. he cannot make 
he cannot make mistake in his decision right now because very crucial moment in his career. Also, the Indian team need him a lot. So I think he need to be smart in his decision. And if he go abroad or not, I think he, he will do the best choice to be to continue strong for the the national team because I think the yeah. national team need him more than anything. Let's yeah, see. I can't disagree with that. Can't disagree with that, Mark. It all uh, right. H A R H underscore A underscore R asks a free kick goal or assist, which makes you more happier? Free kick. Free kick. Free kick. I'm I'm a little bit selfish when I see when a free kick during the game. I, say, I pick the ball. I want to take the the free kick because uh, I love. Fantastic. Do you know how many direct free kick goals you've got? You've got the most. But do you know how many? Uh, two, maybe two. Three. Yeah. Yeah, you've got three. <laughs> Which is the highest. So you've got to increase that tally the next time you come. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, last one in this round from Radhika Krishna Kumar. Uh, the favorite goal that you've scored in the ISF? Uh, wait, the connection. Is that better? The connection, yeah. Uh, my yeah. favorite goal in, in ISL or my life? Uh, both. If you want to give us both, why not? I scored one goal when I was playing Greece. They say the Maradona goal because I took my the ball from my box to yeah. to the post. I think one goal that I pick, and uh, in the ISL, I can pick one home goal. Uh, Difficult, eh? but I, I can pick one home goal when I was playing Delhi against Goa. When I, I kick far away from the post, so I think you say something that I am the player that score most far away from the box. I think something like this in, outside the box, yeah, yeah, yeah. outside yeah. the box. And uh, I think I'm gonna pick one goal against Goa in the, my first season. I think uh, something nice. I think you scored a hat trick against uh, Goa. By the way, Ashik Kurunian has joined us. <laughs> you can yeah. say hello to him. Hello, Ashik. Hey, bro. I think uh, I get to go. Yeah. Off. I'm going to pick this goal. And uh, my career did go in Greece. I was playing squad at Santi. And uh, I'm, I'm never going to forget this goal. Uh, if you find a link of that goal, Marcy, you've got to share it on your, your Instagram or your, or your Twitter. Because then we've, we've, we've got to be able to see that Maradona goal that you scored in Greece. Of course, I I send to you right now when we finish the the live. Awesome. Okay, time for a quick rapid fire, and this is usually I do rapid fire rounds um, with people about different players, so Messi or Ronaldo or all of that. I'm going to do a rapid fire about Marcelino to Marcelino. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see how you get these. Uh, if you get these right, your your first ever Hero ISL goal came against which team? Chennai. Well done. Great answer. You were the third player to win the Golden Boot. Can you name the first two? Mendoza and Elano. And you see the common trend there. All three of you guys are South Americans. And you were the first three winners of the, of the Golden Boot. So that's not bad at all. Yeah, but I'm right. It's Elano and Mendoza, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bang on. Absolutely right. Okay. Only team against... You've already answered this. So, uh, which players have scored more goals than you in Hero ISL history? That should be easy. Koro. Uh, yeah. I think Koromina, right? Yeah, Koro is uh, one. Uh, Second one. Chetri. Chetri, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Also, after me. Yeah, okay. How many players have scored more goals for your team than you in all four seasons that you've played? So every time you play for a team, you're the highest scorer. But only one season, you were not the highest scorer for your team. Who was the highest scorer then? Alfaro. Alfaro was the one. Yes, that's right. Okay. For Pune, 2017-18, he scored nine, I think, in that season. Yeah. I, I scored yeah. eight, and I think uh, eight goals, I, I think, you know, if I'm, I'm not wrong. Yeah, 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 okay. that's right. Okay, next one. Uh, you scored the fastest goal in season six of ISL. How many seconds did it take? Uh, 48. 38. 38. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. Next one. You've scored your highest tally of goals against which side? We already answered that Goa. But how many goals is that? I think I gave you a hint earlier. You gave me a spoiler before. I think eight. Yeah. No, I think it was seven. So you almost, seven. almost got it right. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Some performance against Goa, by the way. Your side, Delhi Dynamos, were the top scorers in season three. How many goals did you guys score? Ten goals. Total goals. How many goals did uh, Delhi score in that ah. season? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Well done. That was a tough one, and and you got that right. I think you gave me spoiler before. No, but you know what? I gave you the spoiler for twenty-seven because in the league stage, Delhi had twenty-seven, which was seven goals more than Chennai, who was second. That's how good that Delhi team was in twenty uh, sixteen. And then, of course, you got two more in the in in the playoffs, which we'll not talk about because so Kerala Blasters got past you. I remember the number. <laughs> good. All right. Okay. Bang on. Uh, two Brazilian players to play Hero ISL games more than you. So two Brazilians have played more ISL games than you. Uh, Rafa from Megaluro. Rafa, yeah. Uh, Sabia. Uh, Elias, no. Uh, you mentioned him. You mentioned him in this interview as well. That guy. Brazilian. Yeah. My Wilson. Not Wilson. Rafa. I'm a... I don't. He has that. been a form. He has. He has been a former teammate of yours. Yeah, teammate uh, Diego. Not Diego. Not Bobo. Anybody else wants to help uh, Marcelino? Please help me. <laughs> I'm going to check the the comment. It's not uh, Milson Alves. Somebody is asking uh, you about Chennai FC because you mentioned Eli Sabia and Milson Alves, who also played for uh, Chennai. We'll talk about that, but let's see if somebody can guess it. Somebody saying Sergio Ramos. Sergio That's Ramos. Uh, Bruno. the best joke. <laughs> not Bruno, not but... Bruno. No, no, not Pelisari. Although Pelisari did say hello to you on this. Uh, On this live session, yeah, not Alfaro. Memo, Alfaro's from Memo, Uruguay. Memo, Memo, Memo. Yes, Memo. that's the one. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. Like my brother, we I talk with him every single day. I send message to him. Yeah. Do Do you have any Do you have any memory of uh, you know playing with uh, Memo? Anything you remember off the pitch that you that you guys off the pitch off made as a, as a He's a very religious guy. I think uh, he's very, very quiet and religious guy. In the in the game, he like an animal. I think he's that thing very funny for him. I like him a lot as a personality, yeah. as a humor. He don't like a lot the jokes. He's very serious, very, very, you know. But I mean, the very different guy when he played and outside of the pitch. Very, I enjoy a lot this guy. I love him. Yeah, Memo, what a fabulous player! He scored. He, uh, his one of his goals, one of my favorite goals of all time, which he scored for Jamshedpur, I think, uh, an absolute belter of a strike. I, I can't, dis- I can't remember who the opposition was, but uh, Memo scored one absolutely fantastic goal. So if you if you meet the, him, please tell him I'm a I'm a big fan. The, fr- the free kick one, the free kick. You, you mean? I think it was the oh. free kick. Yeah, I think it was the it was the free okay. kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great player. Okay, now we, I've got to talk to you about some of the some of the questions that came in later. You did well on that round, by the way. Guessing twenty nine goals by Delhi, I never expected you to do. So that was uh, that was pretty good, Masi. Uh, and Abdul Sheikh had a question. Since we're sp- uh, speaking about goals and you know goal scorers, what does India need to do for creating a pool of centre forward players for the future? Because that's a, that's re- a department where Indians don't get a lot of opportunities in the ISL. You can repeat. Uh, I lost the connection. You repeat the question, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, Abdul Sheikh had a question. What does India need to do to create a pool of centre-forward players uh, for the future? What do they need to do? It's a good question. I think uh, these things take time. I think uh, as a big, very important point, uh, the coach say they they need to give opportunity for the for the Indian players who is playing abroad. because they can they can help uh, you know what i mean they yeah. are play, 
and uh, they need, I think the federation need to allow this player to to come back to help the team. And I think some young players, if they can to have an experience abroad, they need to go and uh, continue with the foreign players in the in the league because we the foreign who want to help, we really, we really help. And yeah. uh, this work take time. The management they need to focus on the young players under 15, under 14, give you support for them, give you friendly games. They need to be, they cannot stop, you know, they need to make a project for the future. And I think uh, this thing takes time. We need to be patient, no make pressure for the next year, next two years. This thing take time. As uh, Jingon said, I think he said he wants to help the team. If he cannot help as a player, he wants to help as a coach. I think we need to keep this guy who really want to, to join, who, to give something to the, the national team. And uh, I also say, if I cannot help as a player, I would like to to support uh, India with my experience. I think we need, we have many positive things and I'm sure for the future, India will be in the national team. Yeah. I think, I think, I think the, work, the work is going, it's happening. We just need to be patient and keep working, keep in the same line that we are. Yeah, and from Hyderabad's point of view, now that uh, Albert Roka is, uh, you know, in charge, Ajah Darsh had a question about your thoughts on Albert Roka. There was uh, some guy called Captain Sid who also asked you about Albert Roka right now. Uh, what do you think, uh, you know, he can provide with what he's done for Bengaluru in the past? Again, I guess Bengaluru, what happened? No, I'm saying uh, there are people who are asking about your thoughts on uh, Albert Roka. Now, you've seen him as ah, a coach okay. for Bengaluru FC. How can, he, how can he benefit Hyderabad FC in the next season of the ISL? I think he's one guy that understands the football in India. He already knows the player available. He knows the, op- yeah. the position. He know He understands that Hyderabad is one fresh team, one fr- new franchise. I think he has time to start one job from the beginning. I think he, he will do something different. He reached the final with Bengaluru, so I think he knows how to work and uh, he will do something nice for the for uh, Hyderabad in the future. I am sure about this. He's also Spanish. He's uh, worked in Barcelona. I think uh, yeah. he's, very, he's very clever and uh, he's intelligent. Will be very important for uh, Hyderabad in the future. And what's important for you, Marcy? There was a question from uh, Joshua Joy who says, what's your target in the next ISL season? First, pick one team. <laughs> First thing I need is to have one team. But uh, I'm going to continue in the same line. I am an offensive player. I'm trying to support and try to help my team. I'm trying to give my best. If I, I cannot score, uh, I'm trying to give some good pass in the midfield. I'm going to be the same, guys. I'm just going to try to be better than I was before. So my challenge, yeah. always self-challenge, always be better than I was. And India is definitely in your plans. As you look for that next team, you're looking for that next team in India. Would that be your next destination? Definitely. Yeah, I'm. I'm not looking right now. I'm just waiting the quarantine, the situation. I need need to yeah. to be first. Uh, we need to take care about our families, our com- com- community, and uh, I'm open to conversation. Let's see the future. But uh, which team I'm gonna pick? Okay, and and since you're picking, then uh, I also wanted to know who your who some of your favorite Indian players are in different positions? Your your favorite Indian goalkeeper so far that you've seen in the ISL? You've spent four seasons. I like uh, Gurpreet, oh, uh, of course, as a, as a goalkeeper. I love the goalkeeper from Goa. I uh, I like him. Nawaz. Yeah. yeah, I like the captain from Goa. He's a very good player. Uh, Jingam, Anas. Mm-hmm. I like Ashish, very young player. I like uh, Pujari. I like uh, Sunny Shetri. You cannot forget this guy. You, the yeah. number one. Uh, Ajil Khan. We have we have a many many interesting player, many important play, key player for the country. Yeah. Uh, Ashik. I'm I'm not very good with names, but 
I, no worries. They, the midfield from ATK, I think, a uh, very, very strong guy. I like him a lot. Number five from ATK. I forgot the name. Uh, number five from ATK? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Play nice. Number five. This guy from, this guy from, uh, from Odisha also, very young. He, you spoke to him in the live. Vinny Try. Vinny Try. Yeah, Vinny Try. Yes. He's the top player for me. He'll be very yeah. important player. In the, he can play in Europe. He, he has an European style. And I yeah. think uh, he's a very servant for the future. I think. Uh, and maybe the next season we'll join more young players. I think uh, in, we are in a good way for the future. That, uh, that makes me happy. And is there any Indian player who has really surprised you over the last couple of years, you know, in terms of his growth and his development? This guy, Vinic, as I told you, when, Vinic, I, right. when, I, when yeah. I play against him, uh, I was in Pune, I play against him, I did not touch the ball. So I said, I say, who is this guy? And uh, yeah. I tried to understand him more. And uh, when I play against him in Hyderabad, Odisha, he, he kicked me one good foul. He told me, sorry, Marcy, you are very fast. <laughs> but uh, when he had the ball, when he, we he don't have the ball, he's very smart, smart very clever. He's uh, yeah. he's getting better every every season. And is there any other any Indian player, Marcy, who reminds you a lot of yourself, who who plays a lot like you, who you think is you know a lot like Marcelino? I don't know. It's a difficult question. As I told you, we have, we have many, many good players, many strong players. Uh, it's very difficult to play against Jingan, very difficult to play against Chetri. It's very difficult because they are very competitive. competitive, competitive. Yeah. India. But is there someone, someone who, who you look at and say, oh, he plays like me? You know, this, this guy is, is very similar to how I play. Or you know, even yeah. how he trains or how he warms up. Does, does anybody remind you of, of yourself? In terms of yeah. Indian players, somebody saying Rainier. Uh, maybe a Sheik. I can pick a Sheik. A Sheik again? Yeah, I can pick a Sheik, yeah, because he gives the best every single training. He's a very young player that I really, really like. He's very funny, all yeah. very, very intelligent. I like him. So uh, finally, what would your message be, Marcy, uh, to all the all the Indian fans? And, and let's not forget, you have to get Enrico on camera as well before we go. Can I call him? Yeah, please do. Why not? Okay. Marcy is just going to call his son, guys. Don't worry, he hasn't disappeared on me yet. Yeah. I, Bharat, I love Anirudh Thapa. He's, he's absolutely phenomenal. Future India captain, certainly captaincy material. Anand, 30. Yeah, a lot of yellow hearts for Marcelino, as he said, you know, he's open to offers from any team, including Kerala Blasters. So it's not just about, uh, it's not just about Kerala, but he's waiting for any club to approach him. That's Marcelino's son, who wasn't even born when he started his ISL journey, and now he's almost three. Hello! And that's his daughter as well. Go! 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 <laughs> look how look how old your daughter's become. She was she was so tiny when you first came to India. Yeah. Papel English. Hello. Hello. <laughs> to India, they, are, they want to go to India a lot. They always look at the picture, they love everything. What does she what does she like about what does she like about India the most, Marcy? And what does Enrico like about India? Oh, there you go. <laughs> she loved the Indian culture. She loved everything from India. Fabulous. All right. This is, this is lovely, Marcy. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. With Enrico, with you and your, and your daughter in the frame as well, uh, what is the message you'd like to give uh, to the fans? Because that's put a wide smile on all our faces. I think... Uh, I think uh, we need to, to, to get lesson from the mom to be strong as a community, help each other, to think about uh, our families right now, and uh, yeah. everything will be better, and uh, try to think in the next, the next one to help, and after that, let's think again the football of our life, and I'm lashing from the moment. That's my message. 
uh, keep the same line. We are in the, we are growing up as a, a sport, as a yeah. country. I think everything gonna be better. That's my mission. Thank you very much. I'm very proud to be a part of India, and I hope to be for more, more and more. I want to be forever connected or linked with India. If I, that's my message. Masi, thank you so much. That's the perfect note to end this on. And we hope to see you back in India, back playing in the Hero Indian Super League and dominating like, like you have in the past. Thank you thank so you. much for joining us all the way from Brazil. Thank you. Very nice to talk with you. I hope to see you again soon. And we're waiting for that goal to be, to be published, the Maradona goal that you scored in Greece. Okay. I'm going to say to you right now. Excellent. Stay safe, Masi, and uh, lots of love to your family. Bye-bye. 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 Wow, that was a lot of fun. Marcelino all the way from Brazil. Guys, he spoke a lot about Manya Pada. He spoke about how he loves playing in Kochi in front of all those fans as well. Uh, thank you for all your questions as well. Uh, all the Hyderabad FC fans who tuned into this. He spoke about his time and how the fans gave him uh, so much support, gave the team a lot of support despite what was a very difficult season. It was great to see his golden boot that he won in the 2016 season of the ISL. Ten goals and five assists. He's been a phenomenal player. The third highest goal scorer in ISL history. And like he said, he wants to come back to India. He wants to come back to the Hero ISL. He's just waiting to find a club. That's also, who knows, it could be Kerala. It could be back with Hyderabad. It could be anywhere else. So um, we'll wait and watch. But one thing's for sure, he loves India. He loves the ISL and he, and he, and he wants to come back. Great chat, which you can always catch on um, the Instagram handle of uh, Indian Super League or on YouTube very shortly. Uh, but until then, uh, until the next episode, rather, uh, you guys stay safe, uh, stay at home, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Send in your questions, send us your feedback, and let us know what you thought of it. Uh, we'll talk to you shortly. Bye-bye. Take care.